In this beginner's tutorial, we're going to talk about how to build a progress bar like you see on the screen here in Bubble. What you'll see in this video is two options. One that is no frills, this one on the top here, which is the very popular one by Bubble. And then this second one here that has a few more settings on it that allow you to, um, you know, have this special kind of progress loading type of graphic and so on. So let's dive into our bubble editor. And again, as a beginner's tutorial, I know a lot of times when someone is first getting used to the world of bubble, um, what's on the screen and what somebody else has up, it's 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 like you're seeing th something at a moment in time, but there's really no history of how it got there. All that this is on the page is just a couple of buttons and each of these buttons edit a workflow where we set the progress, whether it's 20, 40, 60, or 80. And that's really all that's happening on this whole page. And then we take that progress value, this contact us progress, the uh, page is called the contact us page. And, but the value that we're using is this one, this progress one here. And we are basically plugging that in, but it allows us to change it here, which is kind of the nice thing. So we can see that we're actually getting what we want. So let's actually go and talk about these two progress bars. First, if you wanna head over to your plugins area, we're gonna share two really great options for getting a progress bar up and running for your needs. First is this very simple, very um, useful progress bar from Bubble. So just look for Built by Bubble. And then we're gonna also go with this simple progress bar built by No Code Lab. Thank you, No Code Lab, shout out. Okay, so with those installed, then when you head over back to your Bubble editor, if you search under here, under your assets, you can search for progress and you will see progress bar will drop in there and then we'll grab the other one as well. Simple progress bar. Now, real quick, I'm just gonna center and get them just set up with a nice set width and height. Okay, so then in each of these, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and grab the, the progress value here and then I'll just copy that one and then also paste it in here. So I'm gonna show off then now just this simple progress bar and we're just gonna take a look at a preview here of it where we can see up top here, 20, 40, 60, 80. Um, but one of the things that I like and you might like as a tip or uh, about this one is that if you take the font color and you take the opacity all the way down to zero, that's really the only way on this one. And th there really isn't any other settings to that one. So I wanted to show off this kind of no frills one for somebody who wanted to just get something going. You came to YouTube and that's what you uh, wanted to accomplish. Then there you have it. Um, but let's also not forget about this one. That's kind of cool. I think there's this nice stripe pattern. Uh, we'll start with just the stripe pattern. Then we'll see it animated as well. Um, but basically on this one as well, you can see that it's got this fill in and then we're also, let's get rid of the, uh, the value there. And we can do that by saying replace percentage, just that removes it. We'll do stripe pattern animate that will, um, you know, just kind of give a little bells and whistle type of option here for those folks who want to give their apps the extra bit of touch that makes them look so polished. Um, so there you have it. Uh, you know, all of the plugins that are for progress bars in Bubble, they essentially work across the same principle is that you get a value and you add it here and then there's some settings where you can make it how you would want it to be. That's really it for this one. Um, and as I said in the beginning, this is a more geared towards beginners tutorial. And if that is you, check out in the video description, there is a seven day learn bubble challenge that is geared towards beginners who are looking, or even if you know a little bit, but you just wanna see how solid your skills are. That one is really about the skill acquisition and learning how to think like a bubble developer. Um, and it's a just a seven day course that you'll get an email every day with a module. So if you think that sounds cool, you can sign up in the description. And if you like this video, please give it a like. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.